Hello, welcome everybody. Sorry, I had a moment there where my phone kept like flashing at me. Your connection is not strong enough to go live. So I'm glad, I don't know, I just walked around the house and turned it off and turned it back on. So thankfully that's all it was. I don't know, it does say it's weak again right now too. I wonder what's going on. Well, hopefully everybody can hear me, right? Um, we've got another fabulous Facebook Live, Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Hopefully lots of people are able to join us today. This is bugging me though, because it keeps saying the connection is weak. Um, I don't know what to do about that. So hopefully, um, whoever's watching, let me know if this is okay for you guys. Um, if, you know, if it's, I don't know what happens. Hi, Marianne. Good, I'm so glad you can join us. So I was just saying that, okay, now it went away. It says my connection was weak. And now as soon as you popped on, it says it's not weak. So hopefully, maybe that's all it just needed. It needed people to be on here watching. So let me know if anything is weird. Um, otherwise, I'm just going with it today as usual. So welcome. I'm glad you can join us, Marianne. It's a little blurry. Okay, I bet that is the, the weak connection. Hopefully that clears up because that little... Um, the little pop-up thing that says my connection is weak isn't there any longer so hopefully that you know that was the problem and it's going to be okay now so keep me posted though um so hopefully everybody had a great thanksgiving last weekend oh my gosh uh it was so nice it was funny because i said mine was really relaxing i mean i did do a bunch of cooking good i'm glad it seems better now thank you um i did do a bunch of cooking but we don't ever go super crazy so you know, it was still, it was it was like a nice relaxing time. I remember one year when I hosted Thanksgiving for a bunch of aunts and uncles and cousins and that, and my kids were really little and that was like total chaos. Like, I think I did it once and then I was like, oh, I don't think I can do that again. Um, like I said, my kids were really little and so they were like, you know, in the kitchen driving me crazy and then they didn't want to eat anything that we made. So <laughs> it was kind of one of those disaster moments really, but that was a long time ago. Now they're better eaters. So, um, yeah, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, I was all excited about U of M football last weekend. We thought we had good, like a good chance of beating Ohio State. And then, oh, that was really depressing. I got up from watching that game and I was like, okay, well, football's basically over. They'll probably go to some kind of a bowl game. Um, but I was like, I think our basketball team's doing really well. So yes, I think you have a basketball. They actually beat North Carolina the other night. So that was very cool. That was a good game, a good win for U of M. Um, so I'm ready. I'm ready for my basketball team instead. So football, <laughs> maybe next year. I don't know. They played in Columbus too. So that makes a little bit of a difference. So this next year they'll play in Ann Arbor. So maybe that'll help the Wolverines next time instead. So um, I'm already peeking at my notes. Oh, because the other thing, so okay, you guys are probably loving this, right? Basketball is back. Like I said, you have a basketball that's kind of been going for a little while now. Um, but my son Cade is on the JV team this year for Alma High School. And so he had his first game Wednesday night and they won that game. They have um, had a really successful uh, team um, for a lot of years. But tonight, actually, they play um, a team called Fowlerville, and this was one of their two losses last year, their freshman year, um, was to Fowlerville. So this is a huge game tonight, I think. I mean, you know, maybe nobody else is as worried about it as I am, but I'm super excited to see Cade and everybody else on his team uh, play tonight. Hopefully we beat them. It's kind of, you know, a little avenge the loss from last year is what we're hoping to do. Um, and actually... Lily, my daughter, was supposed to be dancing. Um, every couple of years they do this, they uh, put a performance together, and that we were supposed to drive down to Detroit today to um, a Detroit Pistons basketball game, and they do like kind of a pregame performance. Um, but she hurt her knee earlier this week on Monday, and we went to the doctor. They said there's nothing like majorly wrong, so that's good. Um, but it still hurts. She can't really bend her leg too much, so she's not dancing tonight because she's got a whole bunch of stuff coming up next week that she wants to make sure that hopefully she's healthy for. So we're skipping the Detroit Pistons dance performance tonight, and I get to go watch Cade play basketball instead. So I guess that worked out. Um, I don't know. Hopefully Lily's good, though. That's, you know, that's the prayer now is that she gets all healed up and can be back to normal by next Monday as a, um, they start... 
their dance company has been performing or will be performing the Nutcracker. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. I hope it improves quickly too. Yeah, so next Monday is their first um, Nutcracker performance. And last year, she wasn't able to perform at all because she was in a boot um, for another foot issue that she had. So hi, Nikki. Good morning. I'm glad you can join us. So yeah, so anyway, we're hoping, I was kind of hoping to go injury free this year because it's been a few years of <laughs> not very good look for her. So yeah, hopefully it improves quickly and she can be dancing next week. Um, speaking of that, <clears throat> so they have a bunch of Nutcracker performances next week and then next weekend we have to go to Detroit again for another um, totally separate performance um, kind of thing that she's doing and we have to leave Friday morning So we're gone Friday Saturday and Sunday down to Detroit for her to do all this dancing So another reason why she didn't do tonight so she can be ready for that full weekend next weekend But my other point in telling you that is I'm not going to be able to do Facebook live next Friday Because we have to leave by like 10 o'clock in the morning 9 30 or 10 o'clock in the morning So I just decided I'm not going to do Facebook live next week. So we'll do it the following week so I think if that's the seventh, so we'll be back on Facebook Live on the 14th of um, December. So we'll be like close to Christmas by that point. So yeah, bear with me um, for that next week. But we've got lots of good stuff to share today. Um, one thing I do want to mention, hi Rosa, good morning. Um, I am working on my next class to go. I don't have it ready to be able to show you guys today. Um, and normally I would make sure to show that on next week's Facebook Live. Since I won't be doing Facebook Live next week, I'll show it the following week, but I will get a post up on our group here in case anybody's interested in the next class to go. I don't want you to have to wait a couple weeks till you hear about that. Um, it'll still, you know, you still have lots of time to RSVP, um, you know, to get the kit, but I just wanted to kind of let you know that. And I'm working on getting the class to go kits from November. Those are gonna be shipping out um, the beginning of next week. So a little bit earlier I had thought Maybe I wasn't going to be able to get them until the end of the week, but I think I'm going to be able to get them earlier than that. So those will be coming out to you shortly. So that's good stuff. Um, okay, me checking my notes. Oh, so the other thing I just want to mention. Well, hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm glad you can join us. Thank you. Um, the next event that we have coming up here locally in Alma is the Simple Beautiful Card Class. That's always the second Wednesday of the month. Um, which is December, what do my notes say? I think it's the 12th, yep. December 12th, anytime from five until 9 p.m. And then the following Friday on December 14th, same class, same cards, just a different day and time. So Friday, December 14th from one until 3 p.m. So you can come either of those times. We always make four all occasion cards. Um, the class fee is $15 or it's free with an order. So hopefully um, lots of people can join me. Get away from kind of the craziness of holiday preparation and parties and all of that and come hang out with me and make some cute cards. Um, okay, and the it is like so blinding out right now Hopefully it's funny because I don't with in the winter the sun is so much lower that when it shines in here it is it is blinding and it's been really like kind of overcast um, all day long until now when I'm doing Facebook live and now literally the sun is like coming in and it's so bright so yeah and there's lots of snow out there too so the snow is like reflecting or the sun is reflecting off the snow it's like nutty 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 oh and what's Mary Ann saying oh Fridays always feel a little blah when I'm not doing Facebook live aren't you sweet aren't you sweet well thank you Mary Ann you could always pull up like an old Facebook live if you're really missing things <laughs> watch your favorite one again I guess if you wanted to oh that's cute that's very sweet of you to say thank you thank you very much um let's see have I I think I'm ready to do our drawings. Let me just make sure. Um, yeah, I think let's do it, huh? So this last week I announced this was the take your pick tool. Let me see if I can, no, you know what? I didn't even open this one because I want to keep it intact for whoever I send it to. Holy mackerel, that's bright. Look at that glare. But yeah, so the take your pick tool is in here and I didn't bring mine today, but everybody knows what this one is, I hope, right? So this is what we're gonna draw for. So um, lots of entries as always, right? In my little paper pumpkin bag. One entry if you comment on Facebook Live, three entries if you share Facebook Live, but make sure to comment. And then another three entries, I did you know, my random drawing that I'm doing every week. I drew for Tuesday. 
um, last week, so or this past week. So anybody that commented or shared any post from Tuesday this week gets three more entries into the drawing. And then if you're new to Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, if you sign up for my email list, you get another three entries into the drawing. Um, the easiest place to do the email sign up is just go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and there's a link like on the right hand side toolbar that says um, sign up for my email list. And then I'll pull those, any new names that sign up between now and next Facebook Live. Your name goes in here also for the drawing. And so that's what I did. I put everybody that signed up for my email list, if you commented and shared, and then if you commented and shared on Tuesday, that was like the random drawing. So make sure you got to comment and share all week long because um, you never know what day I'm going to pick, right? So, okay. So the take your pick tool goes to, I've got one in my hand here. Oh my goodness, Mary Ann, you are the lucky winner. You do lots of commenting and sharing, so that only makes sense, right? Good job, congratulations. I will get this sent out to you. Um, yeah, very cool. So yay, congratulations, Mary Ann, and I appreciate all of your comments and shares and all of your support um, on our Facebook group, so thank you. Um, let's see, I wanna show you guys, this is what works, so everybody can always use a little more bling around like holiday time, right? So let's see, haha, <laughs> you don't have one of those, that's awesome, you are gonna love it, Marianne. Um, so these are the, what are they called? The clear faceted gems. So like I was saying, you can always use more bling this time of year, right? So they come in kind of a small, so the small ones here, medium ones here, and then large ones there. So these are great for lots of um, sparkly holiday projects. So this is what I will give away on next Facebook Live on Friday, December 14th. Um, your name will go in here for commenting and sharing today on Facebook Live, signing up for my email list, and then commenting or sharing on that random day that I pick. So, um, oh, okay, so I actually, I'm gonna put the names in here for the next drawing. I wanna show you guys. So I decided, um, anybody that put an online order in of at least $30 um, between Wednesday and last Friday's Facebook Live got their name entered into the drawing to win. This was the Alpine Adventure stamp set. Super duper cute stamp set. I don't even own this one. Um, I love that snowshoe though. This is one of my favorites and that cute little sled, right? Um, just so, so sweet. So, but what I decided was if I had uh, more than, well, five or more um, online orders, you know, we had the whole online extravaganza last week, I decided I was gonna give away the Happiness Surrounds stamp set too. This was the one that was up for um, giveaway last week, and since I didn't have any orders last week, I didn't get to give it away. So now I decided I'm gonna give both of these away. So if you put in an online order last week, uh, your name is in here. Um, you just have to make sure to use that host code. I'll give you that um, in just a moment. Uh, so let's see here. You know what I'm realizing? I didn't print out the new host code. Yikes. Okay, we'll worry about that in a sec. Okay, so the first one, let's see, we're gonna give away the Alpine Adventure stamp set to the first name that I draw here. And that one is going to go to Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. I don't know if you can even see that in there. But yes, Heidi Sue wins the Alpine Adventure stamp set. So congratulations, Heidi Sue. And that glare, actually the sun is not quite so bad now. And now we're gonna give away the Happiness Surround stamp set. And that one is going to go to Miss Pam Facting. Can you guys even see those? I don't think you can very well, but okay. So Pam and Heidi Sue, I will have these down at the stamp studio for you to pick up at your convenience and congratulations. And thank you very much. Um, lots of people took advantage of that online extravaganza sale that we had. So it was Friday through, um, well, Friday after Thanksgiving through this past Wednesday, everything was 10% off. I was kind of blown away by like all the great deals that we had and everything that was on sale. So hopefully you got to take advantage of that as well. Um, okay, so this week I have, this is pretty darn awesome because 
these items i've kind of had them in my stash um, these items have already sold out so you literally cannot order these things any longer but i had a couple of extra right here that i was saving um, for my giveaway so if you put in an online order of at least thirty dollars your name is going to go into the drawing to win these fabulous products so this is the memories and more card kit card pack this is the santa's workshop and i'm not even going to open it i'll refer to the page that it is on in the catalog but this is going to be the most simple easiest way to make your holiday cards if you thought oh i don't know if i have time you win this kit and you're going to have time because these are the cute can you guys see these that glare um they're they're red note cards and envelopes and then they're actually larger cards and envelopes so can you kind of see the one note card is like half that size and then the little baby red envelopes and then the other note cards are you know half of this size and then the envelopes are in there too so they coordinate really well um I can show you this is on page 21 of our holiday catalog so this is going to be backwards but it's this um, set of products hi Cindy how are you it was good to see you at the basketball game the other night I'm glad you can join us um, I'm just talking about what we're gonna give away with an online order this week so you guys it's maybe a little bit hard to see but these are examples and actually up here are even some more examples of all the super cute cards that you can make so in this memories and more card pack are basically a bunch of cards that you they're double-sided too so there's um, you know there's one side and then the other side so you're gonna love one if not both of all of these um, but basically all you have to do is take one of the cards from the card pack and put it on one of these red note cards and you have a beautiful super cute simple easy holiday card so again those are kind of examples can you see if i get super close and then those are the envelopes and um, no cards right there but like i said they're already sold out so the only way that you can get them is if you put an online order in your name goes in the drawing to win these um and like i said i completely blanked out because we are at the very end of the month so i need to give you a new host code um, cause that other one I'll probably be closing out. I'm like thinking about this as we're doing this right now. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I will include in the comments, the new host code will be in the comments to this Facebook live video. And then also, um, on gatheringinspiration.com on the right hand side toolbar. That's always where you can find the most current host code. Cause I'm going to do a new one. I should have done it last night and I completely blanked out on that. So but I'll get you guys that so you can put your online orders in. And you can use that host code anytime between now and December 12, your name will go in the drawing to win that card pack and the cards and envelopes, okay? So, let's see. Um, oh, the other thing I wanna make sure that everybody knows that today, since it's November 30th, is the last day to order all of the snowflake showcase products so this is my little flyer not sure how well this is even showing up on here um, but the snowflake showcase products included that snow is glistening stamp set so this is the last day that you can order that awesome love that tree and i honestly i love these um snowflakes too i i don't know why i'm because i'm kind of a sucker for snowflakes but i love kind of the snowflake detail that that tree uses as well and then the awesome sentiments one says share excuse me sharing a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season there's another each snowflake is beautiful sparkling and special just like you there's a joy and then Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. So super cute that, you know what? The sun is going to be shining and my face is going to look super shiny too. With a whole, as soon as we're done with Facebook live, it's going to get dark and gloomy around here. Again. But in the meantime, we are like super shiny right now. Um, okay, so this is the other stamp set, the Happiness Surround stamp set. This is the one that I just give, gave away to Miss Pam Facting, but you can still order. So if you're not Pam and you didn't get this stamp set in the drawing, you can still order this stamp set, 
which is another awesome, much more uh, not holiday-ish. It could be if you needed it to be because this right here kind of, oh goodness, look at that. There we go. That guy right there stamps really nicely like a snowflake and you can use the snowfall thinlets to cut it out too. This one, the sentiments are congratulations. Here's to new beginnings, sending positive thoughts. Hello friend, it's your day and surround yourself with happiness. So super duper cute flowers, snowflakes, whatever you need those to be. And then the most awesome snowfall thinlets. Last day to get these ladies. I think there are like, I don't know, 30. Maybe it's not 30. It feels like a ton, right? Um, a ton of framelits in this pack. And hopefully, are they going to fall apart? I think I've even got a few more pulled off of here because there are more than this. But you've got a bunch of different snowflakes and a bunch of different sizes. I love this swirl kind of a thing right here with the snowflakes. It's like a whoosh, and then with snowflakes all in it too. It's really, really cool. You like my sound effects? And then, ooh, I love this huge snowflake. Can you guys see that one? And then the smaller snowflake, and then this one is more of a little bit more of a flower kind of a look that you can use to cut out some of the other images and the happiness surround stamp set. So just make sure I don't want anybody to miss out since today is the last day you can order these things, okay? So do that if you would like. I will include the link in the comments also um, to check these products out and then with all the item codes too. So if you're interested in ordering, you can do that as well, okay? And in the meantime, if you're super anxious about putting an online order in, just use the old host code. That's I'm not gonna close anything out today anyway. It'll probably be open for the next few days. So you know, just use a host code basically. That's the best thing you can do because um, then you get a bunch of free stuff for me if you order online and use the host code. Okay, um, let's see what else. Oh, I forgot to give a quick shout out to Ms. Naughty Hartman, who is a member of the Inkspired Stampers, our, our group, our, my downline. Uh, she just reached qualified recruit with $900 in sales. And so she gets a $25 shopping spree from me. Um, so congratulations, Ms. Naughty. I was so excited when I saw that you had just gotten past that $900. And then the other thing that's kind of cool because she is in my second level. So her direct upline is Sheila Bittler. And then Sheila is my um, kind of downline in there, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, so as someone in your group uh, gets to qualified recruit, the person, um, the upline actually receives flex points. So Sheila got 5,000 flex points just for Naughty getting to qualified recruit. So it's like kind of a win, win, win for everybody. So very cool. Congratulations, Miss Naughty. And if you guys have any interest in getting that starter kit, getting the awesome deal on awesome products, and then getting 20% off of all of your orders after that, let me know. I'd love to have you get that starter kit and become a part of our Inspired Stampers group anytime, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to move things. Oh, Leo, do you want to say hi to everybody? He has seen me kind of running around. I tend to do this right before um, I have to get ready, and he thought we were going somewhere. So now we can't sit still because um, he's worried that, like, Mom, you were running all over the place, and now you're not going anywhere. So he's thinking, I don't know, maybe someone's coming here. But Leo, come here. You want to say hi to everybody? I don't know how you look on camera, right? But I don't know if I've done this before. Leo, look right in that camera. I know. Thank you. <laughs> there you are, puppy. Huh? So this is Mr. Leo. You're going to hear his little feet go clip, clip, clip on the floor. Right, buddy? Yeah. Why don't you just lay down, big guy, okay? We're not going anywhere. Now he's probably going to be right under my feet and I'm going to be tripping. Okay, well, hopefully not. That wouldn't be good, would it, ladies, huh? All right, I think I am ready. I have some awesome projects to show you guys today. Kind of like gift giving, um, yeah, type of idea. So bear with me one sec, turn your heads away, and we are gonna do some stamping now. How about that? I feel like I went through this so fast, but I think we're ready. Okay, so hold on just one moment. Um, oh, what are you saying? He looks a little like, oh, oh, really? How do you say it? Is it Malshi? He looks a little like your Malshi. Is that how, is that how I say? Yeah. So he is a Shih Tzu. Um, at least that's what they told us when we got him. Um, and I think he looks like a Shih Tzu too. So yeah, he's, gosh, he's probably 10 years old now and <laughs> he's slowing down a little bit. He's still super cute and sweet, but he doesn't eat anything. I don't know, he's this teeny tiny little guy who never eats, um, but he's still he's still doing fine, so I don't know why I just worry about it. I'm like, don't you ever eat, buddy? 
So I don't know. Maybe he maybe he gets into stuff when I'm not around. I don't know. <laughs> He's still good though. So oh, Maltese Shih Tzu mix. Oh, okay. And you're gonna you have to read your comment too. <laughs> Marianne, because it's M-A-L-S-H-I exclamation point. And the exclamation point could almost look like something else. <laughs> so when I was reading your comment, I was like, oh, I better not say what I what that looks like when I first look at it. But now, yes, Maltese and Shih Tzu. I'm sure they do look similar. So those sweet little dogs that are so cuddly, aren't they so, they're so fun. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it, huh? Okay, I'm like, I'm not saying that out loud on Facebook Live, but you know what I'm talking about now, so. Okay, all right, bear with me one sec. We're gonna flip the camera down here, okay? All right, here we go, and do that there, okay. <laughs> all right, now I'm laughing too. Okay, so let me get my grid paper, and I am just gonna. Leo's like, where are we going? What are we doing? Um, I I am just use this host code in the, if in the next day or two if I don't um, get the other one up. You can always use the ETSM G six K four because that'll be around for a few more days too. If you go to put the host code in that one and it doesn't work, then go to gatheringinspiration.com on the right hand side toolbar. It always says host code up in that top right corner. Just grab that from there. So, okay. Um, let's see, I wanna get centered here, first of all, so I know where the camera is looking, because every week it's a little bit different. It seems kind of weird, I know, but somehow that's how it goes. Okay, so let me show you guys what we are going to make. So, how about this? First of all, ooh, and like the sun is shining right on the sparkly gold there. So I thought this was a great, um, like gift card holder or maybe a money holder. So we're gonna kind of just open this up. I actually slipped just a little bit of cash in here so you could see how perfectly it fits right in there. You could write a check, you could do cash, you could do gift cards, whatever you like, but it's a perfect little holder for um, Christmas time. Or you could always change kind of the look and the theme and maybe it's like a birthday present or any other time that you need it, right? So, okay, let me show you guys how to do this. All right, we are gonna start with, this is another piece of the All is Bright Designer Series paper. You can see kind of the back. Um, I feel like this one, maybe this doesn't have the poinsettia on it. Let's see, does this one? Oh no, this one has the polka dots. So you can see this is a little bit, it's similar, but a little bit different. So this one has the bright, well not, not bright lights, but the lights in, kind of the Christmas tree foliage. And then this one has the sparkly gold bulbs with a little bit mm, dimmer light, I guess I would say, but they're the same kind of look, right? We need, we're gonna start with, this is a piece of designer series paper that measures seven and a half by seven and a half, okay? And we are gonna use, I have everything piled up on top of it here. We are gonna use our envelope punch board, okay? Love this, makes super cute, simple treats. I've got some other fun things I am gonna be working on hopefully this weekend too. But we are going to act as if we have a card that measures three inches by six inches. So imagine three inches by six inches. So on here, we're gonna follow the directions for our three inch by six inch um, card. Look at that. Okay, maybe the glare is not too bad. It's super bright for me. How, what am I going to do when it's not wintertime and I don't get to talk about this anymore, right? <laughs> but okay, again, so card size three by six. So we need a piece of paper that measures seven and a half by seven and a half to make our envelope to go around our three by six card. So that's what we have here. We are going to start by scoring, punching and scoring at two and five eighths inch. So we're going to take our paper and we're going to line it up at two and five eighths and we're going to press there and then we're gonna run our scoring tool right along there. Do not press too hard on your designer series paper because you don't wanna put a hole in it. You know, it's a little bit thinner. Now I am gonna try to, the idea is, and it's hard for me to see on this, um, where's that coming up? Right about there. Do, do, do. So it's funny, when I was doing this the other night it was almost easier. Okay, seriously, I have to like lift this up. You know what we're gonna do? 
Okay, bear with me one sec. We're going to go back. I do want to score it a little bit more because I'm having a hard time. The idea is that this score line right here that I just made, we're going to line that up. There. Now I can feel it a little bit better. There. Okay. So we're going to punch and score. So not at two and five eighths, you don't line it up. Um, line this little guy up with your score mark that you just made. Now this one, if I did everything properly, I should be back. Ooh, I'm a little worried about this. Okay, let's just go with it, see if I've got it here. So that one on the second turnaround lines up again at two and five eighths, it should. And then we've got this one coming back right here. And again, you're just lining that score mark up with that little score. They call it like a score guide, okay? All right, shoo! Okay, I did it. It was just kind of concerning me a little bit because it was really hard to see. Um, okay, so we're gonna just put that little guy, goes right back in there, and we are basically done with our envelope punch board. That's all that we needed it for, was just kind of making those little marks, edges out of there. So now we're just gonna fold our cardstock, our designer series paper in. Yes, I love the punch board too, Marianne. It is awesome, isn't it? Okay, so this one is gonna fold up here. And then this one is going to fold down. You can see it's a little bit too long. So I do want to kind of trim off. Let me grab some scissors. I am just going to trim. I'm going to lift this up. I'm just going to trim this a little bit. I think I had it maybe right about there. Okay. And then same thing down here. I'm going to trim this one off. And you're going to cover up both of these. So if you don't cut it perfectly straight, you're not even going to know. Okay. So there is our envelope. Now let's put some adhesive. We are gonna run some adhesive right here and right here, okay? And then we're gonna put that down there, okay? This is gonna fold down like that, okay? Now we're gonna decorate, cause that's it. There's your envelope, super cute and simple and easy. I'm gonna scoot that guy out of the way. Now we are gonna stamp, and this is from the Sincerely Santa stamp set. I've got that cute stamp that says open on December 25th. We're going to use that one. I love the other, the Fa La La, Joy to the World. There's a to and from. You can always use those, right? And then this one's from Santa. That would be another cute one that you could use um, to decorate your gift card holder too. So, okay. We are going to stamp in real red ink just on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So let's get this guy going. Okay, straight down and straight up, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I should have gotten this wet, a little bit more wet, it's wet right in the middle. It dries out around the edges, but the middle stays a little bit wet. That's the last to dry up, but there we go. Okay, we got that guy all clean. Okay, now what do we need? Now we need to do some die cutting. So the other crazy thing that happened was I seem to have misplaced my largest die from the Ovals Framelits, which is crazy. I had a class last night that I needed it for, so we had to make do with kind of an alternate plan. So I'm sure, you know, these thin Framelits, this this large one, I don't know, it's, it's stuck in between some papers or something somewhere because I was just using it. So it's kind of driving me crazy right now because I feel like I should... I should know where it is, but anyway, so ours is gonna look a little bit different. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller because I can't find that largest scallop edge framelit right now. So I'll find it as soon as we're done with Facebook Live, right after class has been done. So we are gonna use my, what was now the second largest scallop oval edge on a piece of real red cardstock. And then I've got, this is that gorgeous, more of the All is Bright Designer Series paper. We are going to use this framelit right here. So this has to be the one, two, this is the third largest straight edge. So let's cut both of those and then we will cut our sentiment in just, oops, just a sec. There, okay. So we're going to crank this handle and get these guys cut. Okay, and then let's get our open on December 25th. We'll get that guy cut too. Okay, 
Okay, we need that one and that one, and then here we go. So with the fourth largest straight edge, right? One, two, yep, three, four, okay. So we are gonna put this guy down right on here on our open on December 25th. That's cute, huh? All right, crank our handle one more time. Get this one cut. And there, we're just gonna pop that out. Let's get those, actually, let's do this. We're gonna need this again for our next project, but we're gonna do that in a few minutes. What do you think, Leo? He's waiting for something big to happen. He's really not sure what it's gonna be, but. Okay, now I have a piece of our gold glimmer paper that measures one inch by four inches. Can you guys see? Let me scoot that up a little bit, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna use my banner triple punch and I'm just gonna slide this guy in and punch him at the one end and then at the other end. So super simple there too. Now we can put our little um, guy together. So let's see, we're gonna look at the one that I did here. We need some adhesive and then these little parts here. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that guy and some adhesive on this. Okay, so this is just gonna go right on. Oh, I love, look at those bulbs, so pretty. Check that paper out. I love that reel, you know, how it's like a photo realistic, like they really took pictures of those bulbs. That would have been fun to see those bulbs all hanging wherever they had them too. Okay, now we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this guy too. Okay, so our little gold glimmer strip. We're gonna just put that right in the center of those. That's so pretty, isn't it? We almost need a little bit smaller. Might be cute to do a smaller sentiment so you can see more of those. So it's just gonna kind of peek out a little bit behind there. I'm gonna put that right on there like that. Okay, now we just need to adhere this to our gift card holder. And that looks great too. Okay, good, I was worried um, about whether I was gonna like it as well, but I think that one looks good too. Okay, now we need, oh, where did my ribbon go? Hmm. Oh, that's craziness. I brought it over here. I know I did. All right, one sec, because I want to show you guys this ribbon. Let me grab another piece. Hold on, hold on. As Leo says, what are you doing, huh? He's running with me. <laughs> okay. So I must have, I don't know, I was fussing with it. But I love, so this is some of the real red, the mixed satin edge ribbon. If you can see, if I put it up really close, the one edge has some kind of stitching on it and the other edge is smooth. So I just think this is such pretty, especially like super festive ribbon, uh, you know, bright red, Christmassy, holiday looking, right? So we are just gonna make a bow this was just an extra piece that I had kind of laying around. I think I have this little dish on my craft table that all my little extra pieces go into. And it's amazing how many time, times I use those little extra ribbon pieces when I just need a little something at times. I just dig into my little dish there and I can usually find something that I need. Okay, so I just put a glue dot on the back of that while I'm chattering away here. We're just gonna put that right there. And so we're gonna kind of trim these guys off. And then the last thing, because I think this is such a cool little trick that you guys need to know if you don't know already. So our Tombow Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue, if you just put a little dot, I don't know if you're gonna, yeah, I guess you can see that. Do you see? That's a little dot of it, and it's a little tacky. So I just did that a little bit ago, but basically you're gonna put that little dot down and then you're gonna let it sit for a while. And once it gets so it's tacky, but not you know, super sticky where it's gonna stay closed, you just kind of put that down like that and then you can lift it back up and without peeling any of the paper off, it's just got that little bit of tackiness to it. So I'm gonna do that on here and then I'm just gonna leave it open for a little while. I'm gonna let it dry basically. So, and you'll be able to see it. So just that little bit, that's all I need. 
okay? And it's funny because you can, I don't know, you can't see on the white quite as well, but it, it's a little bit brighter white when you first put it on and then it gets a little bit more yellow. That's another clue that you know it's kind of hardened up and it's just a little bit tacky there. So yes, it is a great idea to keep it closed, but the main thing is don't close that now for a while. We're gonna keep that open and then after Facebook Live in an hour or two, when I know it's just tacky and not gonna stay closed permanently because I don't wanna rip it. I am all about like, you know, giving someone this, especially my kids, because they're basically like, oh, thanks mom. And they open it up and they take the cash out and then they like toss this somewhere. So then I run around picking all these things up and save them for, <laughs> for Christmas or, you know, another time this year if we do it earlier. So anyway, yeah, I like to, I like to re-gift things whenever I can. But yeah, that will just stay. See how that just kind of stays closed right there, okay? All right, so that is your first. I'll show you guys that one again. So that's the first project that again, if you put the online order in, you'll get one of these little gift card or money holders um, as my thank you from you. Um, let's see, the right color and the right size, right? <laughs> you got it, Marianne, you got it, that's cute. Okay. So let's see. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to show you this next project. So this was something that I saw. I'm gonna have to tell you a little bit about it before I actually show you. This was a project that I saw at um, our creative convention that I went way back in September. I went to this and I've been wanting to make these things ever since I saw them. So I finally got a chance to make them um, this past week and well no actually the last couple of weeks really i've been kind of doing a few at a time um but i gave them to all of my club members as a club member treat this month so check out this super cute all oh, the little um mrs claus with the enjoy tag um and then this is what i really want to show you guys because i love i think this is so darn cool so this is one of our little santas what are they called let me make sure i tell you the right Yep, they're Santa bags, okay? And you get eight of them in a package. And then what I was so excited about was putting this little brick wall look on these. Because here, this is what they come like. Um, and you can stamp on these. You can put, you know, a belly band or something on them. But I loved using this embossing paste. So this is kind of the, when they first start out and then after you use your embossing paste, this is what it can look like. And then I just tied this tag right on that little string there and that's how that goes so let me show you oh my gosh like i said i'm so excited to show you guys these all right so i need some extra stuff here though okay so i will tell you guys about these things as i go um the first thing i want to tell you guys about is so this is our embossing paste right I don't know if you guys have used this yet. This is one of those things that is sat on my craft table, like looking at me like, Amy, you need to put me on a project. So I was so excited when I saw those treat bags that, okay, now I finally know what I'm gonna use this embossing paste for. Okay, so it comes in this little jar, right? And I've used quite a bit of this already. Almost looks like frosting, I'll warn you ladies, but it doesn't smell at all like frosting. So you really won't be tempted to put it in your mouth, even though when you, <laughs> Especially when you color it. That's when I was like, oh, it really looks like, you know, like I'm going to frost holiday cookies. So all I did was I scooped some of our embossing paste out. And I do have my little palette knives, I think they're called. Let's see. Yep, the palette knives. You get three of them. So if you have a huge surface, you would want to use this larger palette knife. I really like this guy right here. I think I actually used this one to scoop my embossing paste out with. It's funny, it got a little bit stained. I, maybe I need to work a little bit harder to clean that off. But basically, scoop some paste out, put it in. I like to use, this is an old embellishment container. So I put my, it was white at the time, put my embossing paste in here in my little container. And then what I did was I started out, at first, because Poppy Parade is kind of the color that coordinates with this suite, I used just a few drinks of, a few drops of Poppy Parade reinker. But let me show you, and this might have, it's funny because I don't know if it faded, but I tried it on a piece of paper first. You see, it looks pretty almost orangey, right? So then I decided that I wanted to add a few drops of Real Red reinker. So that's what I ended up with, was Poppy Parade and Real Red. 
and you just kind of tap those in there, put a few in, and then you just stir this around with your little, um, uh, what are those things called again? The palette knives, right? Until you get it all mixed together and it's the color that you want. And if, you know, start with just a few drops of reinker, and if you need more, you can always add more. Um, I think it tends to look a little bit darker in this container because it's funny because I don't think I ever would even put this all over the paper if it looked like that in the container. So it's almost like it, it looks a little bit lighter when you get it on your project. So like I said, this was just white cardstock that I tried it on first. Didn't like that color, so then I added the real red to make it a little bit darker. So you just kind of have to play with things, but that's what I would suggest before you um, you know, emboss right on your bag. Do it on a piece of paper and see what you think. But you can also see how it doesn't, I mean, the edges have curled maybe a little bit, but if you put this down on something, um, it's going to adhere really well. So this kind of makes me excited to do more embossing right on my cardstock because I've seen some fun projects with that too. Okay, so what we are going to do is we have, and what are these called? Let me make sure. These are, oops, that's just my info. Um, the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. Those are the masks that, that I used. And then this one is the brick wall. There are a couple of others. You guys wanna see what else? Oops, I've already got some. So I have, all right. Somehow I've already gotten embossing paste on places that I wasn't intending. Hopefully I don't get it on my clothes. That, that's the one thing you wanna be a little bit careful of. But let's check out the other um, decorative masks too. Oh, actually there are four of them. I was think, thinking there was only three. Oh my gosh. You guys, I haven't even really paid attention. Do you see that huge medallion? That is super cool. You could have a lot of fun with that one, right? And then, oh, the clouds. I have seen those. I know I've seen those. The clouds. And then another kind of a diamond pattern. This one would be really, really cool too. Okay, I'm seeing some fun projects on the horizon with these embossing masks. Or what are they called? Decorative masks, I think. I couldn't ever remember what to call them. Yep, decorative masks. And then obviously this one is my brick wall. Okay, so what I did was I laid my um, little Santa bag and I like to use this um, silicone craft sheet also. And I lined this up with that little red stitching right there. All right, let me scoot these things over here. And then I just had some old washi tape because I thought it, it kind of helped to um, make sure that the mask didn't move on me, okay? So I'm just gonna put that down there on, and I want that to be, there we go. Let me make sure that looks good. I'm gonna put this side down right over there, and then this one right here. Okay, so like I said, this is leftover, and, and from I'm trying to remember what day I did this. Earlier this week, though. So it stays really nice if, as long as you put your cap on right away, too. So this, it'll stay, you know, you'll be able to use this for a while. So I'm just going to scoop a little bit of my embossing paste up with my palette knife. And I'm going to kind of start right in the middle. Because what I found was if I start at the top, I tend to um, get too much, like, up too high. And the other thing was that I kind of liked if it wasn't totally perfect if I didn't get every little nook and cranny because you know like when you look at a brick wall right um, some of it might kind of be crumbling a little bit and do you see I mean we really don't need too much of this embossing paste um, as we're doing this and you can always if you feel like you've got more than you need just kind of put it right back in there because I think I've got about all that I'm gonna want. I'm pressing down pretty well so I can kind of get into the edges, but I kind of liked, like I said, especially across the top, having it not be totally perfect. So you see how I'm just kind of doing that? And then I'm just gonna wipe off any excess. And you do wanna make sure to put your lid back on very soon after you're done using it, right? And let's see, I'm gonna put that palette knife over there. This is what I didn't account for, was like the trying not to make too much of a mess to get this pulled apart, but okay. So the other thing I will tell you, and mine kind of got a little discolored anyway, you're gonna wanna make sure to clean your mask off as soon as you're done working with it. 
as well. But do you see, I got, oh, I got a little heavy handed at times there, I think. So not totally perfect, but that's kind of the fun of it. Um, is that, you know, they, they don't have to be perfect. You don't want all of these things to look absolutely perfect, right? Um, but that is the basic idea. I'm just going to scoot that guy out of the way. And then we are going to let this, I just kind of set it aside. I think I did these late one night, now that I think about it, because I had them all over my stove. <laughs> That's what I remembered. So just find somewhere to kind of lay it on and just let it dry. Um, I don't even know how many hours it takes. It's probably not too long. Um, but you want to just kind of let it sit for a while because you don't want to smear. Like I said, I kind of got a little heavy handed there, um, but you don't want to smear it anymore. Um, so I'm just going to set this guy right over here to finish kind of hardening up. And then you can just rinse this off with water. This is super simple, quick and easy to get that um, silicone craft sheet cleaned off. So now let's make our tag, okay? So to do this was also very, very simple. Um, let's stamp while I'm thinking about it. So this stamp is from my takeout treats, my super fit. Oh, hi, Wendy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us, hello, hello. So this is from the takeout treat stamp set, the little enjoy stamp right there is the one that we're gonna use on our tag. So I already have that mounted on my clear block and I've just got, I always have a million of these little half inch strips of Whisper White cardstock. So I brought a decent size one over because sometimes I don't stamp straight. That's actually just fine. So in case I needed more room, I had a whole strip there, but I think that's good. I am gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna do some die cutting with our Big Shot. So I have a piece of the Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper with our straight edge circle from the layering circle framelits and then one of the scallop edge framelits also from the layering circle framelits on a piece of black cardstock. So let's do those two. We'll cut those things first. Make our little tag here. Okay. Cut this guy out here. All right, so we've got our black with our scallop edge. Actually, I'm just gonna kind of pull that guy off there. And then a straight edge circle on that one. Okay, so we're gonna crank our handle and die cut these guys. Okay. There we go. And then, so I kind of hesitated even showing like these exact products because I do know that that Santa's Workshop Designer Series paper has already sold out, which is a bummer, right? Hopefully everybody got what they wanted. Um, so like this cute little, um, um, what is she, Mrs. Claus? So yeah, like I said, hopefully you have this paper already because the other thing, crazy, 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 is that the Santa's signpost framelits that cut a bunch of the images out, those have already sold out too. I'm gonna do this just because it's fast and easy, but if you didn't get these framelits, the Santa's signpost framelits, you can always just use your paper snips to cut around Mrs. Claus to put him on your little um, treat bag, right? So it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's kind of old school, right? What we used to do back in the day. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut Mrs. Claus, pretend I use my paper snips if you don't have those framelits any longer. And she pops out nice and easy right there, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna kind of layer things up, right? Okay, I'm gonna get my example here. And I've been talking too much. My throat is dry, I need a sip of water. Okay, we've got all of our little bits and pieces, I believe. My scissors. Okay, so we are just gonna kind of snip off the end there. And then on this end, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. And if you guys, this is super simple. I think it's too hard. These are too tiny to use your banner triple punch. So do you see how I just snipped up the middle and then kind of from each corner, I cut in at an angle, oops, to make that little, um, that little flag there, okay? So now we are gonna use some of our adhesive, our snail adhesive on this little guy right here. And I want her my little Mrs. Claus, right? I want to pop her up on dimensionals. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna put a little bit of snail on our enjoy tag and we're just gonna pop her 
or him, her, the enjoy right there. Then I'm gonna use my little handheld circle punch. Let me get that in the right place. I'm just gonna punch a hole right there. And we're gonna add some baker's twine that's hiding, but here it is, okay? We're gonna just put this through our little hole. Okay, hold on. I have to, there we go. Pop that right there, right? And then, so we're gonna pretend, cause I don't wanna pick that up. <laughs> that was the one thing, right? I, I need to let that dry for a little while longer. But basically, I just tied it in a bow around the little strings that are on my bag with my Garden Green Baker's twine, okay? So, super, super simple. And then do you guys wanna know what I put inside of this little tree? I thought these fit perfectly, actually. So I put two of the, these are little baby Rice Krispie treats. So can you see two, can I get it in the right light? Two of them fit in here perfectly and they kind of fill out the bag nicely. That was the thing I was wanting to make sure I had something big enough that kind of filled out the bag. And then the cute little tag on there. So how about that? Isn't she so cute? Love her. Enjoy from Mrs. Claus. So, so fun. So, okay, ladies, that is it for today. I'm going to try to kind of clean things off a little bit. So if you are so inclined to get any of the products that we use to make these projects today, make sure you use this host code. Like I said, I'm going to have it open for another few days. After that, just go to gatheringinspiration.com for the new host code. But this week, right now, it is ETSMG6K4. You are going to get the projects that I demonstrated. So the little gift card holder and the super cute little Mrs. Claus treat bag, right? With an order of at least $30. Plus, your name goes in the drawing to win the Santa's Workshop note card or memories and more card pack and then the note cards and cards and envelopes okay thank you guys i see marianne and nikki thank you very much i really appreciate that guys i'm glad you enjoyed those so and then don't forget too if you bump your order up to at least 50 dollars, you always get a free embellishment and i am going to have some awesome new embellishments from our next occasions catalog that's what i'm going to give to everybody with an online order in december too so um, okay, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Thanks so much for all your compliments and being here with me today and enjoying and sharing in Facebook Live. So I hope everybody has a good weekend. And like I said, no Facebook Friday, Facebook Live next Friday, but we'll be back on, on December 14th. So have a good couple weeks um, of December and I'll see you guys soon. But I'll still be on Facebook too. So I'll check in with you. You check in with me and keep me posted on what's going on with everybody getting ready for the holidays. So thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.